the bus with metal mesh, and a generator will keep it electrified. Should provide a non-stop source of energy for you. Wow, that's really smart. Well, they don't let dumbasses in a med school call. Once you're up on top, we'll head out. If you need to jump down, I'll stop the bus and wait for you. Okay, guys. This is quite, in my opinion, the hardest mission in the game. Definitely. I would say even by far. Now, there's one mission that's extremely annoying and time-consuming on the third island, but I'd say this is probably the hardest, just straight-up difficult mission of the game. You have to defend this stupid bus for a really long period of time. Now, the good thing is, as Trish said, they've rigged up the bus to have an infinite energy ability, so you can usually heal yourself and stuff. But your own health is not really going to be the problem with this. And not just her constant complaints of you're not protecting the bus well enough. Wow, he just he really flew in kind of a strange way. No, the issue is... Get off my bus! The issue is with the low health of the bus. It can't take a whole ton of hits. Now, actually, this is going to sound weird, but I have a really weird setup for the way I'm holding my controller for this. You may just want to also get rid of the wood quickly and then just spam shockwaves like crazy. Because the shockwaves will typically deflect the RPGs and stuff. I get it, Trish, but, you know, you could drive a little faster. Oh, God. Yeah, this mission is not easy. Oh, crap. That's going to kill me. That is my own fault. That is my own fault, though. I managed to shoot myself and fall off. But yeah, this is a very difficult mission. I'm actually holding the controller in kind of a weird way, too. I've got my left hand is working actually both the camera and the L1, and that's actually about it. That's about all that that's working at times. We can't survive another hit like that. Yes, we can, actually. We can survive more than you think. This is not going well at all. Uh, there is a strategy you can use, though, that can be kind of helpful for this. It's it's so stupid. It's like, A, we already, like, stopped the Reapers now anyway, so I don't know where they're still coming from now. But this mission, this mission is just complete and total overkill. I'm sorry, but this mission is just too much overkill. Oh, come on. I deflected that. And I, I would fully expect that you'll see me fail at this mission probably at least two or three times during this video, so yeah. Though, to be honest, this mission isn't really any more difficult on the highest on hard than it is on normal, which is actually pretty nice. Okay, I'm actually going to do something here as soon as we cross the bridge. That might seem kind of weird, but I'm going to do it because it's actually pretty helpful. Uh, I'm going to let them destroy the bus after we cross the bridge. The reason being, it will get rid of some of the enemies that we're dealing with. If you guys want to damage the bus now, feel free to, because I'm doing it on purpose anyway. Yeah, I don't care if you guys destroy the bus in the next minute or so, yeah. Well, I actually want them to do it, because it's going to help us out. And you'll see why in just a second. It's, it's actually going to help us out to let them destroy the bus. Because it will get rid of a lot of these enemies. Alright. Uh, okay, I did that on purpose. I want that to happen. Because if it works correctly, it will reset the bus's health slightly. Yes, it will reset the bus to having a slightly higher health than it did. Which isn't bad. Okay. Sounds good. So, A, it gave us a little more health, but more importantly, it cleared most of those enemies, which is the main reason that you want to do it. So, yeah, it may seem kind of strange to do, but it's definitely the way you should do this. 
It also repairs the wooden part, which doesn't make me feel any better, though, because it doesn't really help. Whoa! Holy crap! Haha. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, you know what? This gas station needs to blow up. Yeah, take that. Okay, didn't need to blow up, but that's more fun, so yeah. Give me a break on that. I don't think Trish cares anyway. I think even uh, Invisible also, he, remember, he said something to me about when I mentioned this mission in a comment. It's like, I think most people, though, will agree, though, that this is the hardest mission in the game, or very close to it. I mean, it's just really, really annoying because they spam these freaking RPG guys at you like there's no tomorrow. So freaking many of them. And then they just keep on coming pretty much no matter what you do. And then sometimes you don't manage to actually deflect the RPGs. Though, you gotta imagine though, think about how much worse this mission would be if you didn't have the infinite energy platform that we're on. This mission wouldn't even be possible if you didn't have that, I'm pretty sure. Keep going. You know, honestly, can't you just drive around a little bit? I mean, seriously, how difficult can it be to just drive around or something? We did it, guys. We did it. Only one fail, and that was semi on purpose. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. The results from the photo analysis. It's Alden Tate, the son of Richard Tate. You paying attention? I've got a lot of ground to cover, and this is important. Yeah, he kind of just shot the bus with an RPG, so shut up, I Moya. I transfixed. Moya kept talking while I watched this man, this old, grizzled man, lift a bus with his mind. I'm strong, but nowhere near that powerful. Alden was born to the leader of the First Sons. As a powerful mentalist, he was groomed from an early age to assume control. That is, until Kessler showed up. Alden disappeared into the streets, growing up scared and homeless. But there's no fear in those eyes now. No, the blast has made him powerful, gave him the tools to combat his paranoia. With a flick of his wrist, he threw the bus on top of the hospital. Send him a message to anyone that would challenge him. Trish stood inside that thing. I had to act fast. Not that I could do anything to all of them. I was already gone. Well, that actually went a lot better than I was expecting. We only, there was only one fail. Only one time did the bus get blown up. So, I am not going to complain about that. So now, to finish the mission, we have to go rescue Trish in that bus on top of the hospital, which is one of the taller buildings in the game, Act. Well, no, I don't know if I'd say that. It's, it's a tall building, though. Uh, Cole, could you please grab onto something? Thank you. Okay, let's do that. Uh... Wow, that's, this is going well. Come on, keep climbing, Cole. Keep climbing. Okay, we made it up to the top. Excellent. If you go around the back, it can be a little bit easier, but there's also, like, a lot of enemies and stuff down there. Whoa. Uh, is he seriously going to shoot me with that machine gun or something? Jump, Cole! Fly! Fly! Okay, that went pretty well, actually. We made it. Okay. Oh, crap! <laughs> Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry, Trish, let's try that again. That wasn't supposed to happen. 